Soft Rock 101.5, KPLA, Daniel Powder, and Bad Day at 745 with Chris and Monica in the morning. Well, we're all expecting a bad day, but uh, so far it's just kind of coming in slowly. Snow and sleet will change over to snow by mid-morning, 4 to 8 inches, 28 for the high. It's 24 now, wind chill 12. <laughs> Meantime, we've got some guests in the studio who have uh, ventured out uh, before the storm. The because the show the must go on. It doesn't matter if there's snow tonight. <laughs> the <laughs> show will go on. With Talking Horse Productions, we have uh, Ed Hansen, Luke Tudball, and Heather Bagnell in the studio this morning. And Luke, looks like you're first up at the mic. Tell us about the production <laughs> that you're working on that's going to be performed at the Berlin the- Theater. Oh, this is an absolutely fantastic, awesome, phenomenal show that most people will probably not have heard of, actually. Um, but it's a brilliant show. It's based around the story of a Dublin uh, bus conductor. Um, and uh, without giving away you know, the ups and downs of his life, in 1960s Dublin, uh, the constraints of society and how he deals with those or doesn't. Oh, okay, and it's a musical. Yes, it so is. Uh, we have a small cast. Actually, the original show has about 25 characters. Oh, so they wow. usually cast. It's a, you know, a big cast show, but we're actually going to do the show with eight people. So um, that should be interesting for everybody to come. The ensemble have between four and six characters each, I think, that mm-hmm. they're juggling. So, um, yeah, come down and see what happens. Yeah, okay. Now, Luke, you're a co-producer. Obviously, you've mm-hmm. come in for this show. You're not from around here. Is uh, that, no, is that true? I'm actually from New Jersey. No. Uh, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you're from Jersey. <laughs> it's that thick Jersey accent, yeah. Uh, originally from the UK, but uh, we actually, Heather and I, live um, just outside of D.C. Okay, I'll say. Well, and Ed is the founder of Talking Horse Productions, and his, was this your brainchild? Luke introduced me to this show about three mm-hmm. years ago. He and I are... are uh, friends from acting on the road and we have a mutual friend who in- introduced us at some auditions and uh, we've kind of discovered after he shared this play we both had an equal passion for it and really wanted to produce it. His production company was founded last year as well and so ah. we just decided we would collaborate on this effort and he and Heather came in to be in the show, to produce the show with me and then of course I took the starring role because the show that's is so near and dear to my heart. Yeah, well, you know, you get to be the star. It's your house. You get to you get to pick what you get to play, right? Well, I guess so. It's kind of like, you know, <laughs> the child taking his basketball and going home. That's right, that's way. right. <laughs> and speaking of the house, the Berlin Theater is a small, beautiful, intimate black box theater here in Columbia. Right, on North 10th Street. And we're set up for an audience of 50. So okay. we strongly encourage people to buy their tickets in advance for sure. this. But, uh, you know, you can buy tickets at the door if they're still available. Well, I was a little surprised by Luke's accent. So let's get Heather on the microphone. Phone as well. <laughs> Do you have an accent? Um, I don't have so much of an accent. But you no, probably you could. <laughs> she, she's an actress. She could have sure. any accent she wants. Now, if you go from 25 actors down to 8 actors, obviously mm-hmm. you're going to be playing a couple of different parts. What are some of the uh, roles that you're playing? Well, I'm actually playing Adele, so I, I play the same role throughout the show. Um, but uh, we have actors who are playing just the entire village basically okay. they're, they're the entire they're the entire town city of dublin um and each character sort of represents a different aspect of alfie's life too oh, okay. so it, it's it's a really exciting way to approach the show because it's such an intimate space mm-hmm. um and it's such an intimate story that uh, that that we really wanted to to tell it in a way where the audience kind of felt like they were part of of the city of Dublin as well. Excellent. Now, would you say it's a family friendly show, or what? What is the what is the audience that you're hoping to draw? Um, it's it's family friendly, but but there are some themes that 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 are are above kids' minds. So, okay. Um, what, yeah, I would say if you were rating this as a movie, you'd say PG thirteen. PG thirteen, yeah. sure. I feel, okay. and it's not so much language or anything. It's mm-hmm. just the situations, the social mores mm-hmm. that the play explores would just be over the heads of kids. They would okay. probably enjoy the songs. But, oh yeah. Uh, and there's one scene where where poor Alfie. Uh, uh, kind of takes a, a physical brunt uh, okay. of, of someone's anger, and so I think mm. that would be intense for small children. So sure. I would say a PG-13. Okay, mm-hmm. and tickets, where can we get our tickets? Well, you can buy them uh, through our website, www.talkinghorseproductions.org. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can buy online, uh, or people are just welcome to give me a call, and, and I'll hold some seats for them if okay. they'd like to do that. And performances okay. begin tonight through the weekend, and then again We're next weekend. We're hoping for tonight. We're hoping that your your glorious uh, prediction of four to eight inches is, is uh, all wrong. <laughs> we will come tonight, but it'll be uh, this weekend through Sunday night uh, at 7.30, and the next week we'll be playing at 6 o'clock because of the True False Film Festival right. schedule. We're okay. going to do a late 
or late afternoon, early evening matinee at 6. Okay. So that they can still use oh, sure. the, the cafe and the theater for a band venue. For oh, cool. Yeah, and folks can come out and, and also see the, the, the play as Absolutely. part of the True False experience. Right. That's so that's very cool. Is just tag in and get all those people that are already downtown to come yeah. see us. Well, yeah. Ed, Luke, and Heather, we appreciate you coming in and talking with us this morning. And uh, have a safe you. journey on the way back home. It's 7.50. <laughs> 7.50, Chris and Monica in the morning. Coming up next, it's Jason Mraz on 101.5 KPL.